It's time for Down Home in the Tri-States with your host, Ron Jones. If it's farming, gardening, information, or just plain interesting, you can catch it all right here on Down Home in the Tri-States. Folks, I've been in Birmingham for, for a couple of weeks, and, you know, like I do when I always go somewhere like this, I always try to find something to share with you and go out and do a little part of a show and everything and you know uh i heard that uh years ago there was a tribe that that lived in in this birmingham area they called them the bush people this is many many years ago and uh but I, i've also heard two or three times from different people that there was one one member of these uh this tribe the bush people that was actually still living and i thought you know if i had a little extra time i was gonna i was gonna go in search of this bush people this bush man uh bush woman whatever it is and uh, and see if we can't find them, okay they say that uh this bush tribe uh actually never learned any kind of a language like english or anything like that they just they just mimicked you know things with their hands and all the things that they would see and uh I don't know if they live in the trees like we're showing here or where they actually live, you know, but, uh, but I'll tell you what, doggone it, we're going to see if we can't find one of these bush people. The folks, I've been searching now for about two hours. I have searched every bush I can think of, but I have yet to find anything like that resembles a bushman. I don't even know what they look like, but uh, i tell you what. I'm going to keep searching and see if we can't find one. And uh, so y'all just stay with us. Uh-oh, look at that. There's an arm. I believe that's an arm right there. I believe we are getting hot, folks. Oh, my Lord. Uh, sir, are, are, you, are you a bush man? Mm. Uh, do you have a name? Mm. Do you live around here? Mm. Uh, do you have a family? Mm. Folks, I don't think he can understand English. He sure looks like a bush man, though. Look at all that bush on his face. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, can you take me and show me where your house is? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't know your name, if you got a name, but c could you... Uh, could you take me and show me where you live? Oh, I don't think he wants to do that. Well, folks, I, I tell you what, I think we actually actually found a real live Bushman. He looks to be maybe several hundred years old, looking at the bush on his face and everything, but I don't know. Actually, folks, this ain't no Bushman. This is Billy Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he agreed to do this with me today, but I just, I've been kind of mesmerized by his hair and his uh, beard. What do people ask you all? They think you're somebody who? Santa Claus or something? Or Jesus or something? Santa Claus. They think you're Santa Claus. And, uh, he probably make a good one, though. And, uh, but he's up here where I'm at. It's just, uh, we're at the Hope Lodge up here in Birmingham. And uh, where's, where's home? Where you live, Bill? I live in Altoona. Altoona. Yeah. And that's, I guess that's what, like north something of Birmingham? Northeast or northwest? Or? I guess northeast. Northeast, okay. And uh, you retired, I guess. Yeah. And uh, uh, he's, uh, we get, we sit there and talk a lot. And he's, we, every time we sit down by somebody and start talking, we just, we just start coming up with things that are true, you know, and uh, most of them for the most part. But everybody sitting at the table just starts crying and laughing and <laughs> they just can't stand it. But anyway, he's, uh, and, uh, I think he's, he kind of figures, seeing me that's what I do that's what I've done all my life I like to I like I'm a, kind of a practical joker too you know and uh, just like what we just did kind of, oh, yeah. you know? but uh, I thought that'd be interesting y'all might remember the part that we did uh, oh gosh 15 20 years 25 years ago the thing we did up at Paradise Lake uh, where I went around looking and the guy came out there and asked me what I'm doing on his property and uh, I kept trying to tell him who I was you know and he said I don't know who you are. I got invited up there by a friend of his, but he, but he didn't seem to understand that. But anyway, 
Exactly. So, Billy, I appreciate you being on the show today. I appreciate you doing that, and uh, it's, uh, it's 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 been a good time. It's, we're about to get storm, stormed out up here. It's starting to rain. They got some bad weather moving in and moving through. And today is like uh, today's Thursday. You're watching this today on Saturday, so this this today is when when the weather came out. I don't know if they've had any. Some of them was coming up near your place, wasn't it? What's it, Etowah, what county? Etowah. Etowah County. That's, just, that's the county where he lives. And so, but anyway, Bill, I appreciate it, man. I do too. Yes, sir. We'll, we'll, it'll be good. People like stuff like this. Thank you, sir. You know fishing season is here. Don't wait until the last minute to get your tackle box, boating and camping supplies stocked and up to date. Check out the new line at King's Outdoors on Main Street in Chipley. King's Outdoors carries a complete line of quality fiberglass poles, including Red Holland's Brimmaster. From Shimano, Garcia, Zepco, and more, you won't find a better selection anywhere. Top of the line and hard to find plastic baits, spinner baits, and catfish baits. Look over the latest camping products. And don't forget the most important of all, the original fish scaler, Easy Scaler, just like Mr. JD sold. Support your local stores and your local shows. Do business with King's Outdoors and King's Discount Drugs and King's Quality Jewelry. Oh, be sure to tell them Ron Jones sent you. We sure would appreciate it. Up and down the rivers and lakes, everywhere that I go, people are doing double takes, checking out my rhino. No doubt about it, it's the very best, even my mother-in-law is impressed. Now you know what I know, make your boat a rhino. Everybody loves rhino. Get yours at Joe's Motor Service, Hartford, Alabama. Main Street Market in Chipley, Florida announces they now have the best blueberry fertilizer that you're going to get in Northwest Florida. Now you can grow them like the pros. And the hot Showtime dog food, plus the most nutritious livestock and pet food, Seminole Feed, is now available only at Main Street Market in Chipley, while the area's top handlers shop Main Street for the best. Also, a complete line of FRM and Tucker milling feeds now in stock. From top quality game cock feed and scratch, fresh oysters by the half bag, whole bag, and shuck pints. Red Pontiac seed potatoes like the professional farmers use. Honey Bell's oranges and more. Only the best and freshest. That's Paul's motto. When you want the very best, what do you do? You call Paul. Folks, I don't believe you'll find any fresher produce than you will at Main Street Market on the corner of Highway 77 and 90. Clarksville Post Office. Now, that must have been, they must have moved this thing here from somewhere. I'm sure it's not an active post office. We'll find out in a minute, though. It looks like maybe a little store or something, but but it's the Clarksville Post Office. It's got an old uh, old gas pump here. Ron was telling tell me a while ago how this thing works. Uh, he said that what you do is you go in, uh, you go inside there, and, and it's got this glass tube up here and you can see it says one two three four five six seven eight nine ten he said you go inside there and you buy if you want five gallons of gas you go tell them you want five gallons of gas and you pay for and it then you, you come out and what you do you take this lever down here can we see that Ron? yeah take that lever and you pump that lever it's like an old water pump you pump that lever till it fills up in here with five gallons of gas up to that number five mark you bought five dollars and then once you get there, you take the you take the hose here. I think it's hooked on. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. You take the hose off, and then you put the hose in your car, and it's got a little little handle and everything. You, know? you put that in your car, and once you once you release that handle, once you release that handle, it's gravity fed into your car. And when it's all empty, then you just put this thing back up there. And, that little old hook there. I never knew how those things worked, but uh, and why that was like it was. I thought it was just there so you could see gas, like a like a fuel filter or something, you know. But anyway, well, that's kind of neat, folks. This is probably 20s or 30s. Uh, this is an old kerosene pump, and when you take this thing and you make a complete round, you put your gallon jug or whatever you have down there, and then it has a stop. And when you get that thing all the way around to a stop, you have purchased 
one quart of kerosene for your kerosene lanterns or whatever else you may you may want to just use to start the old wood stove uh, fire cooking but that's what you do you back it up and it does nothing at all it just relieves and when you get it to the top you come all the way around make that full pass and then it stops and that's when you know that you've got a quart and uh, these things were actually metered by the state and they tested them to make certain that they you know people didn't get cheated and those outside it's pretty obvious uh, you just pump it up when you've seen the five gallon mark or ten gallon mark well that's how much gravity fed over into your uh, vehicle that's back when the days were trust on both ends the retailer and the purchaser now we're inside this Clarksville post house and uh, post house post office and what's your name I'm Rosetta Baker Rosetta Baker you live here in Bluntstown no I live in Bristol I just volunteer here you live in Bristol okay and uh, is this at the act was this an actual post office Did this, they moved from here they moved it from Clarksville this is the old Clarksville post office and it's set up like as a gift shop, I guess, now. Well, it's our general store. During the week, we have guided tours mm -hmm. where you go into the buildings. Our buildings are furnished. It's like somebody living in them. They've got the dishes and the clothes and the linens and everything. Oh, sure, really? Wow. And, uh, wow. Yeah, we have a two-room schoolhouse, a church. The church we ran out for weddings, and in the gym they have the reception in the gym. And well, what, if somebody want to get a hold of you, something like that, you got a, a phone number? Yes, sir. It's uh, 850-674-2777. That's our office, and we have somebody Monday through Friday uh, through the middle of the day there. Folks, back in 1911, uh, you'd come into the doctor's office. His name was J.B. Dowling. This is the medical office. You would uh, come here to take care of any ailments that you might have and probably some advice about your sick cow or your dog, and you might even bring him here and get him worked on. Uh, back then, they were more helpful than they were interested in getting your money, and they were, uh, they were also your neighbor. And a lot of times, you could uh, trade him a sack of corn for uh, flu, flu shots and whatever you needed back at that time. Uh, like I say, it was not a money-oriented practice, and uh, this this building was moved here for probably from some local uh, spot around here, like all the rest of these buildings are. Originally, the walls were all natural. This is called beaded tongue and groove, and uh, it had been moved and lived in, and they had painted the walls, so um, that was the end of the natural wood. He graduated from uh, Nashville. Uh, University of Nashville in 1911 and all the signatures on the on that diploma are doctors that he studied under on the different um, services that he uh, studied under you can see how wrinkled that uh, diploma is that's on real sheep skin so that's uh, that's leather and that's where the term came from. I got my sheepskin. When they'd get a doctorate degree, mm -hmm. they, they'd say, I got my sheepskin. Well, mm -hmm. it, that's where it came from. He was a very unusual person. Um, it, he loaned people money in the community. He had a pond with alligators in it. Um, he got a new car every year. He had a roll top desk. It was sitting here. This is not his original roll top but he had, um, uh, this is where his desk sat. This is the old glass syringe. And uh, this is the boat that they used to sterilize the needles in. Well, um, this is actually the kind of things he used to use. That's right. Not the ones necessarily that he the, used. That he used. And then we got old medicines up here, old bed pans of all different sizes and shape. Bleeding bowl. You'd lay your arm across that notch, and they used to think if, if you'd bleed, you'd get rid of what was wrong with you. Really? That was old timey, and um, so this is an old bleeding bowl. I've never heard of that before. Now this table was Dr. M.W. Um, Eldridge's that practiced in Bluntstown for many years, and um, so he was another old country doctor. When they lived in it as a house, they closed it in, and we left it closed in, and we made it into a bedroom because this is Dr. Dowling's actual bed. That's his actual bed. That's his actual bed.
Go Orange! A1 Septic Tank Service is now offering a quick solution to the got-to-go-now urge. Clean, sanitary, easy-to-spot portable bathrooms. With the cleanup from Hurricane Michael in full progress, cleanup contractors are desperately looking for portable potties, and A1 has you covered. A1 will deliver, set up, and maintain potties on your site. A1 will have you in business to do your business. When you've got to go, head for the orange. You can't miss them. From this area's choice, A1 Septic Tank Service, Incorporated. 265-1145. That's 265-1145. And go orange! Bruce's Heating and Cooling is a family-owned and operated company serving Bay and surrounding counties for over 36 years. Our thoughts and prayers are with all of our neighbors that have been affected by Hurricane Michael. Bruce's Heating and Cooling is available now to inspect your air conditioning system to make sure it is functioning properly to return you to your normal comfort level as soon as possible. We can also work with your insurance company. We also accept all major credit cards and offer financing. Give Bruce's Heating and Cooling a call today. 850-230-3009. 850-230-3009. Dennis Kramer has been in the shoe business repairing shoes for a long time. He started work after Reverend W.C. Clarence Wyndham opened for business in 1959 in Mariana. Mr. Wyndham was the original owner of the shoe shop and sold out to me in 1984. Mr. Wyndham has passed on. He was my mentor and wanted to train me. He was like, you're like a daddy. Warren Hill, holding your shoe, but you love your shoe. Dennis can save you a lot of money. Renew it at Wyndham's. Check out the new line of Justin Chippewa and Double H Boots American Made. Wyndham Shoe Shop, across from the gazebo on Lafayette Street in Mariana, Florida. You can also enter on Market Street in the rear. Go see them. Wyndham's good Christian folks you can trust. Check out the new Cayman Hyde Boots by Dan Post, Cowboy Certified. Also, a huge selection of boots, $59.99 or two pair for $100. I'll tell you what, y'all come on down and see Dennis and, uh, and he'll tell you all about it. That's right. He'll send you home with some shoes. I we'll put some you. shoes on their feet. Right, thank you, Dennis. Tell us a little bit about these peanuts and where they came from and what you have to do in preparation for all this. Well, the, the peanuts, uh, they're donated to us by a, a local farmer, Gary Ward. And uh, we uh, uh, started boiling them about uh, 12 today till 5.30. And uh, we, we had 85 gallons of peanuts in this uh, kettle. And uh, by the time uh, we get through here today, uh, we'll, be, we'll, be go, we'll go through the 85 gallons. And uh, it's, a, it's a free event. Uh, we do sell drinks and we take some donations. Right. But uh, as far as the peanuts and the music, it's a free event. This big pot you have here, is it a uh, the same pot that you guys use to make syrup in? It's the same kind of pot. We got a, a, about an acre of cane. And uh, uh, we make syrup over there starting the latter part of October through uh, uh, the first part of December. And uh, we have a day that's uh, an open house to every, any time's open house, but we, we uh, a special day that we have a lot of people come through and watch us make syrup. Or we sell we're syrup. We're going to be here. And, uh, How many gallons will an acre make about? Do you know? If it's good product. A I good mean, product, uh, an acre should make about uh, 250 gallons. That much, that's yeah. good. And, and that's good cane. This year, with uh, lack of water, it's going to be hard to get 250 gallons. The news is out all over town. You've been seen out running around. I guess. Be able to get up at five o'clock and watch you. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. And I know he does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know you. And if we had a square dance around here, you'd probably go to it and do the G. Well, I do my best to. That's right. I do my best to. <laughs>
You've been around these parts, so as soon as I shut this camera off, I want you to tell me where the fishing holes are, okay? I'll do my best, dude. Uh, good to see you, sir. <laughs> good to see you, too. You, too, sir. See you, Bob. That's the old Frank Gymnasium from Frank, Florida. Beautiful thing inside, I tell you. It's pretty outside, too. But Ducky Johnson cut that thing in half and hauled it over here to the Panhandle Pioneer Settlement and put it back together. And, and uh, it's just, you wouldn't believe the inside of that thing. It's just so much gorgeous wood in there. That's where we're at, Penhandle Pioneer Settlement. And there's the restrooms and the old jail down there. That's the restrooms there. That's the old jail right there. Move on around, there's the old general store. And that's the old uh, Clarksville Post Office right there. Neat place. Food concession, and that's the doctor's old a doctor's home. They moved all these buildings on here from different places, but that was an old doctor's office and years and years ago. That's the old Wales home right there. Moved it all the way here from Washington County and put it back together and everything. That's an interesting place. Everything's interesting out here. I mean, just all kind of old buildings that was all moved here and just uh, years and years ago, folks. This is history right here. And uh, you folks, come on by. All right. How y'all doing today? Didn't want to mess yeah. up your shot. No, man, that's all right. You made it. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, young lady? Good. All right. A lot of history here. Glad to see those kids come. Y'all need to bring those kids and let them just experience some of this stuff. Because you won't get it out of a book, I guarantee you that. Let's go on down here and see who we can find. What, you mean, you mean I, I missed the butcher? Yeah, you did. <laughs> well, I told Linda, I, she said, I missed the butcher. And I said, well, you know, I can't really show that, but because uh, uh, you know, we might offend some people. But uh, anyway, Linda, how you doing? Real good, real good. And we're, we're glad for the crowd that's come out, and we're uh, looking forward to the rest of the day. We've got breakfast going now, sausage, well, I'm hungry, so. eggs, grits, biscuits. Woo! And then there'll be a, um, for lunch, there's going to be uh, backbone and rice. Backbone and rice. And then there'll be other selections too, like liver and lights. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, there's greens and sweet potatoes and that sort of thing. It's making me hungry, you know that. Oh, well, good. Yeah. And folks, this is Linda Smith. She and uh, her husband, Willard, they kind of take care of the place over here with a lot of volunteers and help from a lot of people. Uh, Cindy, the Cindy's the like the man, office manager. Or She's something office like that. manager. Okay, yeah. yeah, I deal with Cindy a lot on the email and all. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's uh, Panhandle Pioneer Settlement. They're located uh, in Bluntstown. Uh, you take it's in Sam Atkins Park. If you're coming from like Panama City and all, you would turn left north, and of course. The, if you're coming from Bristol and Tallahassee, you turn right, but it's Silas Green Street, and just follow that on down till you see a sign that says Panhandle Pioneer Settlement. Follow that on that, and you'll turn left and come right down to the uh, your, your first thing. One of the first things you'll see is the big old Frank Gym and and uh, the the uh, clubhouse. the clubhouse over there, which are both the, the original buildings. They moved everything here was moved in here, so. Who's got it? Surplus and salvage of Chipley. Doors, windows, carpet, vinyl, tile, vinyl plank, laminate. Who's got it? Surplus and salvage of Chipley. Tubs, showers, vanities, toilets, paneling, plumbing, hardware, cabinets, countertops. Who's got it? Surplus and salvage of Chipley. Air conditioners, hey, that's cool. Metal roofing, save on over 16 colors. Roll up doors, the most popular barn kit, 24 by 36, big savings, only $21.99. The people's choice for over 45 years. Surplus and salvage of Chipley. Come see them. Have you got water problems? Pump won't pump? Do you need answers and solutions, but you don't want the runaround and you want someone honest? Well, have no fear, folks. Do what I did. Call the man, Water Dan. Dan Dubosel, take care of your problem. Hello, folks. This is Water Dan. I work on submersible pumps, jet pumps, do repairs and upgrades, anything to do with an existing water well. I would appreciate it if you call. Call the man, Water Dan. He'll take care of your water problems. 850-535-9308. 535-9308. Folks, you know, 
know why people from Washington, Jackson, Holmes, Bay County, you know why they call water Dan? Because Dan Dubos knows what he's doing. It's not always bad news. Sometimes it's just a pressure switch or a start capacitor. Say, I'm here to help. Stay right pumps, stainless pumps. They'll warranty that pump for five years against corrosion, abrasion, or lightning. I stand behind that warranty as far as honoring the pump. 90% of the time, it's something above ground. I'll be glad to answer your questions over the telephone. Y'all give him a call. Now, Tabitha and Annabelle Morris at Easy Care Tree Service invite you to call for a free tree inspection. If you have trees, especially large trees, next to your home, a free tree inspection is something you need to take advantage of. People just seem to forget about that there's problems standing in their yard. A high percentage of the trees that's being taken out now, especially white oaks and water oaks, they've hollowed out in the middle. Many cases, when you cut them down, you're going to find that hollow in them. What do you cost to get you to come over and just inspect a tree? In our area, there's no cost to it. Preventative maintenance. Preventative, Preventative maintenance. maintenance. Exactly. Don't be sorry. Be safe with a free tree inspection from Easy Care Tree Service. Along with tree removal, Easy Care is now offering excavation services. Storm cleanup, land clearing, pond digging, fixing drainage problems, and any other excavation needs. It's easy care. There's one. I want to know who the head boot hawk is. Hawk -hawk I guess it's everybody. Right there. There he is. Talked to him last year. Yeah. Well, you're doing a mighty fine job. We getting him. Uh, we gonna make sausage meat out of this one all the way around. Linda told me you made some the other day. Just about sold out of it. We made uh, seventy-two pounds, I think it was. Seventy-two pounds. And uh, uh, ain't much fat on these. In fact, we had to cut the bacon up to make uh, good sausage. Oh. Did you what you make? You just cut I'm just, just slicing up so we can put uh, in that sausage binder. What's your name? Maybe he is somewhere. Curtis Fletcher. Curtis Fletcher. Yes, sir. It was in the uh, canteen. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. <laughs> That's going to be crackling, then. Yep. That's going to be crackling, then. We, we, uh, uh, don't have a lot of fat on these hogs, but we got a lot of good lean. Yeah, that's, that's what we really want right now. Pretty much used about everything on that one. Yep. And and uh, uh, this is the back strap I'm, I'm cutting out here. You got the back strap. Would that be like a tenderloin, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, don't be coming my way. <laughs> that. That's actually the center cut on the pork chop. If you cut it different, you cut, the, you split the backbone and and uh, backbone. We're gonna have backbone and rice now for lunch, right? Yeah, we got backbone and rice for lunch. That's out of the hog we had. Uh, we butchered the hog Thursday, and. Uh,